You are watching a preview of Healing Belly Dance Basics, an online video course teaching the fundamentals of using belly dance as a healing practice for body, mind, and spirit. This is a learn at your own pace course with videos that you can watch again and again. There are 25 videos, including stretching, posture, detailed instructions of the moves, three full classes, and moving meditations. It is the hip scoop, one of my all-time favorite moves. It's very good for strengthening the thighs and bringing your energy down into your body. It's a very grounding move. So to start, you bend one knee more than the other. We start in our basic posture, then bend one knee deeper than the other knee. This pulls that hip down, tilting the hips to the side. And from there, you've come down and you scoop down and out to the side, back to the neutral position. Then the other knee bends, bringing that hip down and out to the side. Bend the knee, scoop that hip, and the other knee, scoop that hip. There's no lifting of the hip. It looks a little bit like I'm lifting my hip at the end, but actually I'm just going down and out to the side and staying at that neutral level. Everything is below that neutral level. If you do this hip scoop, long enough, you'll notice your thighs might start to burn. And be aware in this one too, in this basic hip scoop, again like we're between two panes of glass, so there's no twisting. That's a different move we'll learn later. To start, we want to stay right in the center, tailbone relaxed, lower back relaxed. In song four, we will learn a new way to do a downward undulation, adding in a rocking motion, where we put one foot a little bit in front of the other, and we'll shift our weight from front foot to back foot. So these are just the feet. Let's get with the music. Front, back, front, back. Now adding in the undulation, Start in the chest while we put our weight on the front foot, then roll down as we shift weight to the back foot, squeezing our buns to bring the pelvis forward, and finishing the undulation there. Coming back to the chest, front foot, rolling down to the back foot. Center, 
drop forward, center, drop back. We really want to make sure that this back leg is bent so that we have lots of room to move that front hip. And whenever we're doing a, a drop with a twist, we have to make sure that this back hip is really loose to take the sharpness of the hip coming down. Up, forward, up, down. And if you notice, when we're going slow, my chest doesn't move that much. I'm not raising up and down with my hip, but keeping my head level. Sure. 